Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name's Mark. This is Whiskey Review number 28. So I'm going to be doing a review of another blended Scotch whiskey. I'm going to be doing another one from the whiskey selection pack that I purchased around Christmas time. This time I'm going to be reviewing another from the famous Grouse line of whiskies. It's going to be the famous Grouse Smoky Grouse. Smoky Black. Sorry, it was known as the um, Smoky Grouse, but in 2015 they rebranded and uh, changed it to the Smoky Black instead of the Smoky Grouse. Um, so it's bottled at 40% ABV, which is the same as the uh, regular Famous Grouse. It is chill filtered, it has artificial colour added, just like the original. It has an average retail price of £21.75 pence. however supermarkets in the UK do carry this when they've got it in stock for less than that. It has a um, score therefore based on the fact that it is a non-age statement whisky 40% ABV of 84.48 so that's the value score. So how does that compare to the regular Famous Grouse? Well that had a score of 84.97 so um, it's slightly lower but that's because it, this is a little bit more expensive than the original Famous Grouse. So I'm saying so a lot tonight, strange. Last night I finished the rest of the miniature of the original Grouse. Um, I had it after I finished the last little bit of the Copper Dog and it struck me how much sweeter and unrefined the Grouse was compared to the Copper Dog. Clearly the Copper Dog was a better whiskey, it just offered more, tasted nicer. But how does this compare? Well, this has been uh, crafted by the master blender at Famous Grouse, a lady called Kirstine Campbell, uh, and she used her blending skills to create this, uh, in their own words, with the signature smoothness of the Famous Grouse, but with its own distinctive character. So. There's not an awful lot to say about this. Um, you have to kind of sh shoot around the internet a bit to try and find information on press releases. It has included, in their words, a rare peated Islay malt. So a rare peated Islay malt has been included in the, the blend for this. We're assuming it's got the same blend makeup as the original, uh, with the exception of having um, some smoky peated elements. So what are we going to get? And there's that word so again. Don't know why I'm saying so so much. You can pick this up on the um, Famous Grouse website for £23 um, and that price includes UK VAT and duty however not including shipping. So here we go. The Famous Grouse Smoky Black. Once again I don't do a big pour it's probably a third of a bottle. So on the nose. Right, on the nose, this is just Famous Grouse. I'm not getting any smokiness at all, none. None, no smokiness, it's, it's fruit. Now the Famous Grouse does have a bit of sherry whiskey in it. So that's what I'm getting, a bit of bit of that fruit. A little bit of vanilla. So yeah, it's it's quite disappointing in that I'm ex I was expecting a bit of peat, a bit of smoke on the nose. And I'm not getting any. None. Now before this dram, before I had this, I did have um, a small hague. Um, but then I've had water since. I'm getting the grain notes, but no smoke, but on the palate.
Well, I'm extremely disappointed. So either there's been a labelling issue with this, and this is actually the regular grouse, or there's something going on with me smell and taste buds, which to say is a symptom of this virus that's going on at the minute, but no, I'm not getting any smoke, I'm getting no, no peat. Ah, okay. So there was a whiff, a tiny whiff of a maritime influence. There it is, there's the smoke, but it's so, so subtle. It's almost dwarfed by the, the uh, fruit. It's so, they say it's complex yet approachable. Yes, it's approachable. It's complex if you want to say that the um, the smokiness turns up very late. That's quite complicated. Going on, the way I'm thinking right now is this is a beginner smoky whiskey because it's barely even there. It is sweet. It is sweet. It's actually quite disappointing because I was expecting this to be different, substantially different to the regular grouse. But no. Now, the other grouse that I've had is the um, port cask, uh, the port finished um, grouse, and that is lovely. And I will be reviewing that in the future. But this particular version doesn't live up to it. Now, adding water has released a bit more of that smoky peat element. And if you really concentrate, I mean, really, really concentrate, it's an Isla blended into. In this case, and Highland and Space Sides, but the amount of smoky whiskey they've had in there, it's so so subtle, it could be missed. It is sweet, it's sweet and it's fruity. It's vanilla. There's a little bit of spice going on there. Not an awful lot of peat, not an awful lot of smoke. So, for an overall score, now you see, I like my smoky whiskies, so I'm disappointed because I was expecting it to be a little bit more. I want a bit more of that smoky punch to it, but it doesn't have to be as hard hitting uh, as, let's say, as an Alta Ban um, smoky Islay whiskey, which is um, a few pegs down from a, um, a Lafroig. It doesn't need to be that level, but it needs to be a bit more because it's in a blind tasting test. I don't think I could pick the difference. I'd have to live with the dram for quite a while to work out which one was which. So it's a bit of a letdown. Um, overall score, it's no better than the original. So I'm going to go with the same score as the original, which is an 83. So this one gets an 83. It's no worse than that. I could be evil and I could dock, dock it points simply because I don't think it's fulfilling the smoky element of its name um, but it isn't any worse than the original that's it alright guys cheers see you all soon